Hi folks, it's Mike with GetMyTips.com with a very easy steak recipe that some people say is the best home grilled steak they've ever had. If you want your guests to say, this is the best home grilled steak I have ever eaten, then you're going to have to start with a good premium cut of steak. Now, what I have here are Angus ribeyes that I got from my favorite store, of course, Sam's Club. The secret to a delicious tasting steak is the seasoning. And the seasoning that I use is Canadian steak seasoning or Montreal steak seasoning. And I know what you're thinking. That's not a secret. Everybody does that. And that's true. But most people are afraid to use enough seasoning. And the other technique that I use is I wrap the steak up in plastic wrap and leave it in the refrigerator for at least four hours or overnight if you'd like. First I pull the plastic wrap out like this. We'll put it down there. We'll set our steak right here and we will apply a very, if I can get it open, liberal amount of this seasoning. Now that may seem like a lot, but what's going to happen is it's going to dissolve and where do you think all those delicious juicy flavors are going to go? They're going to go right into the steak. Do not be afraid to use too much. Before we put it on the grill, if there's any left over, we're going to go ahead and scrape it off with a paper towel. Now we're going to seal this steak up and put it in the refrigerator for four hours at a minimum. Four hours at a minimum. Now you can do this and leave the steak in here overnight if you'd like to really pull the juices down in to the steak. But also before you cook it you need to take it out and let it come to room temperature. That's about approximately an hour because when a steak goes on the grill it should be at room temperature. Okay, I have this steak that I seasoned yesterday, put it in the refrigerator and left it in overnight. But before we go out and put it on the grill, there's a very important step that I need to show you. And that is that when we remove the plastic wrap, we want to wipe away any excess amount of seasoning that's on the steak. This is very important. The reason for this is that the excess seasoning will burn. And you don't want to burn steak, you want a seasoned steak. So although we put this stuff in the, on here, it has done its job, soaked into the steak by the moisture coming out of the steak and being pulled back in. So let's clean this well and take it outside and put it on the grill. The first time I ever tasted this, the thought that came to my mind was, Longhorn Steakhouse, that it tasted exactly like the steaks that I've had at Longhorn Steakhouse. There's a couple things that we need to do before we put the steak on the grill, and that is make sure that it's up to temperature. And I'm looking at this gauge, and it says it's over 550 degrees, so that's plenty hot enough. The next thing we want to do is make sure that the grill is clean. We'll get out the brush give it a good cleaning. Whatever was left on there last time, we don't want that in our steak. All right. The next thing we want to do is take a paper towel and some plain old vegetable oil and put it on the grates so that our steak does not stick. Then we get a little flame up, but that's normal. And we'll just wait for that big fire to burn off and we'll put the steak on the grill. Not sure if you can hear the sizzle, but it sounds nice. Okay, let's rotate this steak 90 degrees to get some good grill marks on there. Still nice and tender. 
Okay, it's time to rotate this steak over. Oh, look at that. It looks good. Okay, looks like we're done. Let's take this steak inside and cover it. This steak has to be covered for about three minutes to allow the juices to migrate back into the steak. Let's go check it out. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Let's unveil this steak and see how juicy it is. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks delicious. I have no doubt that if you prepare this steak for your guests, they're going to say, this is the best home grilled steak I've ever had. Well, there you have it, folks, my recipe for grilling a great steak at home. For more tips like this, visit our website, getmytips.com, like us on Facebook, and sign up for our YouTube channel. Thanks. <laughs> what are you doing, Cameron? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Cameron? <laughs>